Okay, folks at home. We're back with some more East 7. We are done with the third shrine. No, excuse me, the third dungeon. But the fourth fourth dragon altar, actually. Always forget that first one, which was a freebie, really. Only we had to do was beat a, beat a big turtle monster to get to the moon altar. And now we are heading back to Altego. Just, I'm gonna check if... I don't remember what stuff I bought last time. Well, looks like I stocked myself up on everything I could need last time, so we're, we're, we're good for now. Although, how's all of my... Oh, and I topped up off all, all of these as well. Alright, so we're all settled in terms of that. Yes, last time we finished the Wind Altar, we said goodbye to um, the blind Oracle Mishera. And we, oh yeah, we also learned from Mishera finally a bit about the lore. It seems all the trouble in this land is due to an imbalance between the five tribes of Altego. Fortunately, there is remnants of the fourth one. It's the Alteginians themselves who were with the Moon Dragon, I believe. So we need to figure out where this last shrine could be, and hopefully King Kaimarl can help us in this situation. As you can see, we can simply teleport or quick like there. And I will make a needless save at this point, even though really not much has happened since loading up the game. Should we drop by Tia again? It's been a long while. We were advised by the doctor not to visit her too much. Not to bother them with the fact that... Um, uh, Maya is slowly and irrevocably dying. T turning to stone? Did someone say at some point that people struck by Iskan fever were turning into stone? Or am I just imagining things? I can't say for sure. Oh, cutscene. Good. Uh-huh. It was worth it to come here. Oh, hello. Maya, you look a lot better. She just woke up a moment ago. Her fever seems to have gone down too. Hmm. Thank goodness. I was so worried. <laughs> Some of the animation is amusingly limited, but still, we have to remember we actually had a person underneath the sheets of the bed in a 3D game, a polygonal game, so it's like, what a bizarro game. <laughs> Wait, wait! What is your fascination with my hair? But wait, not the hair! Seriously, why? Why do you keep doing this? Hmm. <clears throat> Listen, a girl's hair is her life. You can't just go around... Ah! Stop! Weren't you listening? No, not, not even being sarcastic. I'm super glad we came here for this goofy scene. <laughs> this is great. Aw, oh, now this is a cute little hug. Aw, oh, that's really sweet. I'm getting along really well. <laughs> I think so, too. Maya is usually shy, but she seems to have taken to Aisha quite a bit. <coughs> I think she pushed her... Whoa, sorry, read that a little wrong. I think she pushed herself a little too hard. Or pulled on me a little too hard. She should be alright. She just took her medicine earlier. Maya, you shouldn't overdo it. You need to rest. Uh, you should listen to your sister. Rest, Maya. Rest and feel better. We'll play again later when you have more energy, okay? Uh -huh. Alright, well, good to see that things are okay here. Also, now this somber sad music seems way more fitting now that we are dealing with this situation. Maya is fast asleep. Let's play again soon, okay? Be a good girl and don't cause any trouble until then. Oh, that's really sweet. Aisha actually likes her, despite her her grade school antics pulling on the pigtails. Uh. Whoa! <laughs> I don't like her! What are you insinuating? Ninja dodge! 
<laughs> that was funny. Maya will be fine. She's not completely well yet, so I think she just got tired. Maybe she's just not used to having less energy to spare. Um, Aisha? Thank you. Maya seemed to be having fun. D don't mention it. I don't mind playing with her anyway. Um, I'll come again to see how she's doing. Thank you. Alrighty. Good to visit. I don't know, is she deluding herself or something, saying that Maya feels better? Because uh, they've said many times that you cannot recover from this disease, this Iscan fever. Well, not until we find the cure by completing all the trials. I sure hope so. Boy, that would be a really sad story if it is just like, well, we stopped the fever from spreading, we stopped the plague, but there's no helping anyone who's caught it anymore, so yeah. Make the most with the time you have. Boy, that would be a that would be a real mood killer if that's how the game were to <laughs> end. We'll see, won't we? So, yeah. You two go on without me. I'll catch up with you later. Wouldn't it be simpler if you just came with us? I can't go in there looking like this. Besides, technically no one should know I was with you two all this time. I'll change, then join you afterward. And you just pretend you don't know me, okay? I'm sure, I guess we can do that. This feels wrong. Like I'm lying to a king. Probably because I am, but what are you gonna do? Well, let's just go talk to King Karmaro. Yeah, yeah, well put, Dogi. Yeah, let's uh, let's hope the king's okay. He's also stricken with this this fever, which means we might have a queen Aisha soon, I suppose. I sure hope no evil regents try to um, state themselves as the uh, little lawful ruler of the land once the king is gone. His Majesty is resting in his private quarters. He has been quite busy lately. I only hope that he may regain some measure of his former spirit before returning to any official duties. I figured he'd be up here, he wasn't in the throne room, so... No, this is not a... Does anyone have a map of this place? It's huge. Okay, this way. This has to be. Nope. Where, where, where the bloody hell is the... Aha! You there! You're that, uh, guy. I forget the voice I gave this guy once again. I think this is the second time now it's happened. But I remember thinking he looks kind of like a revolver ocelot, so, so let me give it that a go. It is never easy to create. But Altego has created peace. Pull it from the either, far as anyone can tell. We must make sure this peace endures. Good on ya. Okay, I'll, I'll try to stick with that voice, just because... It's easy to remember. Hey, there's Shalashaska, so... Since the intruder incident, palace security has been ramped up on the sentry here. Oh, how I long to be off duty. Oh, for cripe's sake, where the heck is the... King's private quarters. Like, if we go over here... This is where the Dragon Knights were hanging out, see? There, there's not gonna be a King's Quarter there. Well, I guess it would be the safest place for a King's Quarters. Is there something... Is there a second door above? <gasps> there's a door over here? This is a fake door. Where the bloody heck is the king's personal quarters then? I tried to go through this door, but it, it ain't working. It ain't budging. Oh, there's corridors this way. Okay. See, I remember these polished corridors being somewhere here, but... There we go. Yo. You're those adventurers his majesty called for, are you not? His majesty's taking time away from his official duties due to illness. You will need to come back another time, I'm afraid. 
illness? Is he gonna be okay? His illness is not worsened. I'm told he's merely tired. Likely from stress. His Majesty has been waving there. Let's try that one again. His Majesty has been having heated disagreements with the Prime Minister of late. More so than usual. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know. Maybe we should come back some other time. I don't mind. Send them in. But, Your Majesty! I'm feeling much better. These men can be trusted. Let them in. Yes, sire. Well, that was easy. You heard him. Go on in. But remember to be respectful. He is our liege. Anything else you got to say? Those are his direct orders. You may enter. His Majesty is not well. Please refrain from any discussions that may cause him distress. I hope he's not too shocked about talking about the final... Final altar, like, oh no, not that, anything but the final sea altar, oh dear, my heart. Well then, you'll have to excuse my appearance. That's cool, we have a second character model for him in his, uh, sleeping gown? Are you feeling alright? Are your symptoms improved? Yes, the medicine is suppressing the worst of it. But I'll admit I tire more easily now than before. Everyone else has had to work twice as hard to pick up my slack. I feel that I've let them all down. So, I hear tell you are aware of my condition. Cyrus informed me. You lent your aid to a girl infected with the disease, did you not? I sincerely thank you on her behalf. Actually, she was pretty capable of thanking us or so. No, well, I guess she is mute, so... Hmm. Oh, it was nothing! I mean, we couldn't just leave her like that. Adol humbly denied that he did anything at all worthy of the king's gratitude. Wow. This is pretty... pretty formal. On the contrary, the problems of my citizens are my burden to bear. Anyone who helps them helps me. I have long known that a group of merchants maintain a monopoly on the crystals needed to treat the disease. And I am entirely to blame for not having dealt with the issue promptly. Anyway, where were we? Ah yes, Sias has informed me that you've made considerable progress. I would like to hear all about it. Well, this is gonna take a while. When was the last time we saw him? Hmm. Adel explained everything that happened thus far to King Kaimarl in great detail. I had no idea you were going after the legend of the dragons in such a tangible manner. And it seems the anomalies occurring elsewhere in Altego are worse than I'd thought. Hmm. Ah, uh, your majesty. <gasps> oh, okay, this is interesting. Father, may I enter? Oh, Aisha, please come in. Oh, hello there, person we've not met yet. Wow, that is a lot less uh, ostentatious, or a lot less... Has a lot less flair than the, um, I mean, ostentatious, definitely, it's it's a princess gown, but it's like a lot less flashy than what her traveling outfit was. Oh, look at her, Adol. It's like she's a completely different person. Oh, her hair's done up, like, proper style as well. <laughs> I like that detail. <laughs> Hello, father. I'd heard that there were adventurers in the kingdom who've gained favor with you. Are these the men? Indeed they are. Aisha. I have not seen you in some time. Where have you been, and what have you been doing? Sigrun has been worried sick about you. I... Uh, there was something I wanted to investigate, you see. So that's it. 
And were you investigating it together with a red-haired young adventurer and his tall, muscular partner, perchance? Uh. Ah, whoops! Guess we've been busted. Yeah, I thought so. Father, how... did Sias tell you? Even if it were not from him, I receive numerous reports on a daily basis. It is not difficult to keep tabs on the likes of you. Your subterfuge skills are... not at the highest of levels. Is there something you'd like to say to me, Aisha? I... I... I'm sorry. You see, the thing is... My daughter gave you no choice, I know. I apologize for her actions. I hope she didn't cause you any trouble. F father Ah, no, she was a great help, actually. We were glad to have her. Yeah, she was a really great help. There were some awful flying enemies. She really sealed the deal on those ones. Freaking Kavakelos would have been a nightmare to fight without her extra damage on the thing. Father? I don't like you running off, but since I know you will, I'm glad to hear you did some good. That's all I mean. But that's neither here nor there. Since Aisha is with us now, please, allow me to address you all regarding the issue at hand. In short, there is something I believe you need to know, which only I can tell you, as the current elder of Idona. Right on, this is the stuff. What? So it really is true. As Mishera informed you, the majority of the people in Altego City are descendants of Edona, the Sea Tribe. We originally lived elsewhere, though, and as one of the five tribes, it was in perfect balance with the land. However, during frequent trade with Eastern nations, the people of Edona changed. Edonians realized they could achieve greater prosperity through worship of Grathios and heightened commercialism. And finally, 200 years ago, the Edonians abandoned their home island and founded Altego City. As time went on, the city became a commercial center, gaining enough power to influence the other tribes. That is how Altego became the kingdom it is today. Wow, I had no idea. So that means the royal family... were once the elders of Edona, yes. In other words, we are descended from the protectors of the great dragon of the sea, Obalon. So, you know where the altar is? I have not seen it in person, but I do know of it from the legends. Of course, not many still remember those legends today. Even in the royal family, it only remains as an oral tradition. Thinking it a child's fairy tale, I was always unsure whether or not to believe that the dragons truly exist. But after hearing your fantastic tales, it seems clear that they do. Adol Kristen, if the voices you heard really did belong to the great dragons, then I believe they may have a truly monumental task in mind for you. A task so big, it could change the fate of all Altego. If you become involved more than you already are, it may be impossible for you to back out later. Are you certain you wish to proceed? Adol confirmed his resolve. Good. Then, as the Elder of Edona, I ask that you permit me to tell you the way. Just off the coast of Altego City, there is an island the locals commonly refer to as Ruins Island. The altar of the Sea Dragon is there, within the depths of the ruins located thereupon. Wow, that's not a word you see often in daily parlance, thereupon. Also, don't see the word parlance very often in daily parlance, now do you? Mm. On Ruins Island? Are you talking about that small island we saw when we first got here? The very one. It is the original home of the Edonians, the one we abandoned 200 years ago. 
Royal Edict forbids anyone from setting foot upon that island, so it has remained uninhabited for centuries. Oh! Your Majesty! Prepare a boat at the harbour. It need not be large. These men will be going to Ruins Island. Ruins Island, sire? Understood. Right away, sire. Um, Father, if you disapprove, I understand, but I... Aisha, I am aware that you have made it your own mission to investigate the kingdom's mysteries in my stead. However, as your father, there is nothing more important to me than your safety. You understand, do you not? Yes. However, this is, in point of fact, a duty the Elder of Edona must fulfill. The elders of the other tribes have heard the voices of the dragons, and Edona's turn is up now, but I cannot go. So you must go in my place. Oh, that's really cool. We get her get her to stay in the party after all. I was a bit unsure for a moment if how that would pan out, but it all turned out okay. You mean... Do not put yourself in any situation of unnecessary risk. And after you return from the island, you must refrain from running off as you have been. Can you promise me that? Y yes, of, of course. Thank you so much, father. Adel, Dogi, please look after my daughter for me. If she puts herself in danger, you may feel free to scold her as you see fit. Awesome! Now that's an order I can get behind. Dogi! What the hell, man? Is scolding me really such an exciting prospect? Especially when you're the dumbass who always gets us into tr- <coughs> I, I, I mean, don't worry, father. I shan't put myself in danger. I swear it. Nice try, Aisha. <laughs> that was really good. I like that a lot. That was a good gag. Freaking... Freaking localization work on this is fantastic. I have to say, Exceed, you are doing... You are doing God's work with this translation. <laughs> Guess prim and proper is not really her thing, huh? Oh, come on! You set me up for that! That's not fair at all. I call entrapment. Entrapment, I'd say. Oh, just, just forget it. Goodbye, father. We'll be taking our leave now. Dogie. Get your ass moving! Thought she was gonna kick him for a second there. <laughs> Shot to the shins real quick. Oh, no, it's just yanking. Hey, hey, stop pulling me! Ow! I'm the one with all the muscles. How can this hurt so much? <laughs> oh, man. This was, a, this was altogether a great scene. Like, definitely top five. <laughs> I was worried I may not have shown enough care to my daughter. But it seems children learn and grow even when their parents are not there to see it. If only my dear wife were alive to see our beautiful daughter so full of energy and life. <sighs> ah, excuse me. I let my emotions get the best of me for a moment. Before you leave, though, Adel, please come here for a moment. I have something to give you. Oh, well, better not drop this. This looks important. This is the royal signet passed down in my family since the tribal days of Edona. You may need it on Ruins Island. Hold on to it, please, and take good care of it. Adel gave his thanks to King Kaimaral. Wow, this is like one of the few scenes, actually, where it's just Adol and someone other than Dogi, just one-on-one, -on -one chatting. Interesting. Those two are otherwise rather inseparable, aren't they? <laughs> no need. I should be thanking you. May the blessings of the dragons be with you on your quest, Adol Kristen, and may the road ahead be a safe one. And please take care of Aisha for me. Oh, she's back to her regular attire. 
I guess it would have, wouldn't have been proper adventuring gear, but like, I don't know. I would have liked like alternate costume for her. Okay, the boat should be just about ready. Let's stock up on whatever we may need, then head over to the harbor. You got it. Now, if things get out of hand, we can always warp back, right? So, we don't need to worry too much about supplies, I don't think. We can restock anytime we want. Wow, way to be on the nose about the game's mechanics, actually. <sighs> can, can we? Well, there's a good reason no one's been on, allowed on Ruins Island for such a long time. Apparently, compasses on board ships go nuts when they get too close to the island. It's like an energy vortex. Oh, okay, well never mind then. This is, uh, sounds like a point of no return. Ah, huh? seriously? We don't know why it happens, we just know that things work differently over there. So we really need to be extra cautious and not put too much faith in dragon energy until our mission is over. Well, let's double check our supplies first then. Yeah, I think that would be best. Well, not a bad idea to take care of all of our unfinished business before we go. Never know what'll happen over there. Let's go to the harbor only when we're completely prepared for the voyage. Well, we're actually almost prepared, but I do want to check if there's new armor and equipment in the store. Not that I will be able to afford much with my 30k. It sounds like a lot, but it probably won't be once once we see how expensive the new equipment is, honestly, if, if there is new equipment. But I'm a bit surprised, actually. They're kind of... They're kind of selling now this is a point of no return, as if this might actually be the final dungeon. I was honestly expecting that the five shrines would be all separate dungeons, and then there'd be a sixth final thing as a final dungeon. But this is now being hyped up a little bit as kind of a big deal, so... Let's see, yeah, I did stock up on all of this good stuff, so we're good in terms of that. Whoa! I didn't mean to ninja jump through the door, oh well. There's a royal signet. Signet? 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 How do you pronounce that word? Signet? No, it's not signet, I know that much. We just got in a very rare sword, actually. It's called a heavy sword, and it's used to strike enemies rather than slash them. I can see you're a swordsman. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, interesting. So, among the weapons Adel can use are strike-type heavy swords and pierce-type spear swords. Your battle party can be made more effective by equipping Adel with weapons that complement it. That's interesting, because that's... We, we're already, like, a balanced party in its current form. Me, Dogi, and uh, Aisha. But, for example, there was Elk previously. Now, there was no third party member, no Aisha for Elk to fill the slot up back then. Elk was the only third party member. But he, like, had the same damage type as Adol. So if we get any other... If we get another character with, like, damage that Adol does... Because we can't swap Adol out of the party. We could basically, like, say... Okay, this is... Let's see, now, great sword. I can buy that. Is there anything else? There, okay, there's weapons for everybody. But I actually want to get this thing for... Uh, hold on now. These are all strike, and these are all pierce. So I want to get this thing for for Adel, because if we get another, like, um, slash user, like Elk, someone like him, what we can do is give Adel this sword, and then have Dogi swapped out, and then we can have an unbalanced team still. So I'm not going to equip it yet. Photon Blade. Do I have a move called... No, I don't. I, rem I would remember a move called Photon Blade, if we're perfectly honest. Alright, and then we can afford either Dragoon Mail, or a Breastplate, or a Clayne Vest. Who's got the lowest defense at the moment? It's Aisha, so let's get a Clayne Vest for Aisha. With any luck, uh, we will get a sword user soon. Maybe they're, like, setting up for that. And then I can swap Dogi out, so it doesn't matter that Dogi is, like, low tier in terms of his equipment. Oh, Crest Shield. Oh, I can't afford it anymore. Or these bracelets. Ding, ding, ding. 